In this video, I am going to share some of my major blunders that I did in my career, which I seriously don't want you guys to do it. Because this is going to cause a lot of trouble in your professional growth. In terms of your growth, in terms of salary increments, in terms of getting into new opportunities and promotions. So it's really important to understand these blunders at the early stage of your career. As in my case, I was completely unaware about what I was doing because I do not know these are mistakes will really impact my career. So what I did is I learned with a lot of time by correcting myself and understanding my mistakes. So which has resulted in wastage of lot of good time in my early stage of my career. So it's important to understand these mistakes so that you can drive your career faster than others who don't understand it. So without wasting your time, let's get into the video. So before getting into the points, let me give you some short brief. Generally, as a person, nobody wants to do any mistakes. But most of the time, we do mistakes which are emotionally driven. That is where the actual problem starts. When you are doing something emotionally, you may not aware whether it is a right or good. You will simply tend to act naturally. That is one of the biggest blunder in a professional life. In a professional life, nothing is natural. Please remember this. Keep this in your mind all the time. In professional life, nothing is natural. You have to work on it. You have to be diplomatic. You have to be really, really a genuine person all the time. Don't be an emotionally driven person who show the anger and shout and uh, do something which is completely other than uh, being a diplomatic person or a professional person. So let me start the point to give you a more clarity about it. As a first point, I would like to highlight is that never try to show that you are faster than others in the work. Because generally people who joins in any organization tend to show that they are faster than others. They are faster than the existing people. They are faster than the senior. Don't try to show. This will result in a huge loss for you. I'll tell you how. If you show that you are going to be the faster person than others, naturally, <clears throat> naturally your boss, your leads will approach you with more work. So when you get more work, you may not be able to concentrate on the quality of the document. So what happens is that since you have addressed that you are a faster person, you will try to do many things faster, which will spoil your name if you are not going to meet the line, meet the time meet the quality and also it will exhaust it will drain out your entire energy and this is not good for your physical health and as well as mental health and as since you have already not focusing on the quality it will impact your professional life don't try to show that you are faster than others rather what you have to do is that be a person who focus on the quality of the deliverable Generally, when a person focuses on the quality, his name, his credibility, his reputation goes higher. But at the same time, if you do a lot of mistakes, not considering the quality of the document, your name will go down, your reputations will go down. So don't be a person who always focus on the time to do things faster than others. Be a person who always focus on the quality. Number two, don't be a dumb guy in the company. What does it mean? It means there are people who completely believe the organization words. They think that the organization will do everything for them even if they did not ask the organization. Any, no organization in the world will never work in this way. You have to push them, you have to notify them, you have to always remind them, you have to always follow up them to get things that you wanted from the company like they do to get the work done for the project. The companies and your leads will keep on following you to get the work done, to complete the work on time, to complete the work with the necessary requirements. Likewise, you also have to do a continuous follow up like the, your increment, your promotions, you always have to remind them. So don't be a dumb guy who thinks that, that even if you didn't ask the, your leads or your organizations, they will give you everything to you. No, that is not going to work in that way. You have to be awake from this moment onwards. Number three, never try to show your anger publicly in your professional life 
in the office or outside the office with your colleagues. Let me tell you why. Because expressing anger is a sign of inability to control your emotions. So this will clearly sense the message that you are a person who does not have any control on your emotions. So which will result in losing the big opportunities like a lead roles or a higher roles which will have more responsibilities. So you have to control yourself. You have to be really genuine. You have to be diplomatic. For that you have to practice. I know that naturally at times we may not be able to control our emotions so the best thing to do at that point of time is that keep yourself silent don't put words because if you put up bad words you cannot take it out so you have to be a really a genuine person within your professional circle within your office premises within your uh, in the your working community you can be a different person at your home or your friends and everything but as long as you are into your professional group within the professional boundary, never try to show your anger. This will spoil your career. Number three, don't be a person who always run away from the leadership, from your boss, from your leads. So if you keep on running away from your boss, your leaderships and everything, you will not be able to show your face to them. You will not be able to address that your potential to them. You will not be able to highlight your capabilities to them. If you look at there are people always speak to the leadership, always go to the boss, always go to their superiors to address their capabilities, talk about the company's growth, talk about the potentials of the company, different projects and how do you manage the resources and what are the plans the company is having for another couple of years. Generally, whenever you get an opportunity, just speak them for a couple of minutes. It is not required to get into being personal. You have to be really professional by speaking the company's growth. What are the next action? How are they going to do it? What is our plan and everything so that this will give them the idea that you are also a person who thinks globally about the company. So that's really a good sign of for promotions and for increments and also for a lead rules. But there are candidates who always keep mum always uh, keep, keep them silent when whenever they uh, come over with the leadership talks or uh, with a, a discussion with the boss or superiors and anything. You should not be a silent guy in front of your boss. Let me tell you very clear. If you are going to be a silent guy, please remember that your career will also will become silent. Nobody will know what you're going to do. With. So please take this in your mind strongly. And the last but not the least, but it will have a drastical impact in your career growth is don't be in a groupism. What does it mean? It means that if you are a person inclining toward particular group within the organization or particular set of a batch within the organization or particular set of a communities in terms of religion or caste or in terms of the natives or language or whatever it is. If you are going to do like that, this will send the strong message for the others that you all belong to this guy. You are not nowhere supportive to the others. As far as professional life is concerned, you have to be a common person for everybody so that everyone can approach you very easily without any prejudice in their mind without any prejudgment in their mind so you have to be a person out of the groups you have to be an individual person you can talk to multiple peoples you can speak with your friends and that's completely okay but don't always fall into a particular group because we have seen that people have forms a group and they play together and they speak together they have lunch together they always go for tea together for whatever discussions they form a group they do their own um, gatherings and everything this is not acceptable in a professional life as far as the professional growth is concerned. If you want to form a friendship circle within the company, that's completely fine. But remember, if it is going to impact your career, then you have to stop it. Generally, people does this because that they are unaware about these mistakes. They always get into some particular groups. This will send a strong bad message to your boss. Imagine that if your boss is belongs to some other community, 
which has completely a different opinion about your group and being a new person you goes to this particular group will always have a bad impact towards you so better don't be in a, any particular group always be a common person who speaks to everyone who mingles with everyone who always show that you are a global person as far as the professional life is concerned so this is very important these are the five mistakes you seriously have to avoid i know that these mistakes sounds to be simpler but remember these are going to be a worst mistakes one should do so that he will never ever realize that this is really uh, is troubling his career growth or not but if you avoid them let me tell you your growth will be faster than the others who don't avoid it i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra